just a test live. Okay, nobody's in here yet, which is good. Just testing my equipment here. Testing, testing. One, two. Just need one person to come in. <laughs> One person, come on in. Hey, Lele Dance Life. Hey, Nikki. I'm trying to do a test live. Somebody can help me out real quick. Hey, Broke. Hey, Renaissance Grandma. I'm trying to test my equipment to see if it's working real quick before I get into any longer lives. It was a great live today broke <laughs> great great live I enjoy it okay can somebody t type in s with s homestead so I can see if my night bot is working all together just one word s with s homestead Hey, Blacks Tropical. I might need some help with this Nightbot Sherry. <laughs> Just trying to do a test live to see if it works before Miss Linda comes on. Thank you, Blacks Tropical. Do y'all even see the Nightbot in the chat at all? If you can see the night bot in the chat, let me know, please, because I don't see it on my end, and I don't know if I'm supposed to see it on my end or what. So I'm just doing a test live so I can see. Nope, you don't see it. Okay, thank you. So I'm going to take a little time and just um, talk with everyone until Ms. Linda comes on, then I guess take advantage of this time. I'm just out here pruning the leaves on my cucumber plants. I was reminded of that in the live today, bro. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. But yeah, sometime when you get a chance, Sherry, um, Black's Tropical, or anybody, if you can give me a phone call to show me how to, I set my night bot up. Obviously it's not working. So <laughs> I need to know how to get it to turn on during the live. I'm trying to get it to where, you know, they drop a name and then they'll be able to get their links on as well. I'm trying y'all, I'm trying. <laughs> Yeah, Mike at Chaotic's Garden. You gotta gotta prune these leaves. Nightbot has to be a moderator. Yeah, I read that in the instructions, and I put them down as a moderator. And will you go with that, please? Because I can hear you. It's echoing. Okay, so I did read that. Um, so when I did it on my laptop, um, I listed them as a moderator, and um, it showed up. So I thought that I was good. But um, I guess I'm going to have to go back and make some changes. So thank you guys for coming in. God's construction. I'm just trying to learn how to work this um, um, night bot here. But... Hey Sunday. Thanks for coming in. You saw a nice butterfly? <laughs> Hey, Unicorn Lady Tech. Yeah, I'm trying to keep these um, cucumber plants healthy as we go into the fall because they're doing so good. I'm getting too many cucumbers, actually. I've been sharing, sharing, sharing like crazy. Um, cucumber salad out. Last night I made a um, cucumber salad with the cucumbers and um, the sour cream with the ranch dressing mix. 
and um, tomatoes and bacon and a little bit of dill and it was so freaking good so freaking good mm -hmm. I keep coming up with different um, salad recipes I've been snacking on salads I mean on uh, cucumbers till I'm cucumbered out <laughs> But it's my favorite thing to grow every year, so I always grow an abundance of cucumbers. And this year, my favorite was that suyu long. I know y'all seen my videos with the suyu long cucumbers. I keep showing them because I'm so excited every time I go down there, I'll see a different cucumber that's yay long. Some of them grow in spirals. It's just exciting. Yeah, drop some cucumber seeds. They grow fast, you know that. They grow really, really fast. As long as you keep up with them, they'll produce for you. Keep them watered, especially now in the summertime since it's so, so hot. You got to keep them watered. And keep these leaves pruned when they start turning yellow. Or they start turning spotted. Then just prune those leaves away. And like um, Hands in the Dirt was saying today, uh, spray them with some type of neem oil. I've been um, real bad this year about spraying. I have sprayed, but I haven't sprayed um, nearly as much as I need to. But they've been doing pretty good. They've been doing really, really well. I haven't had a problem with um, any blight or like, um, what do you call it, um, powdery mildew until just now. Um, when it started raining, we got those, what, four or five days of rain then my leaves at the bottom start turning yellow and I start getting a few spots and a little bit of powdery mildew but then I just come out with my um with my snips and I snip away I snip away at any leaves that don't look good any leaves that have any signs of powdery mildew or anything on them I snip them away like uh that one you can clearly see it has the powdery mildew now since we had all this rain and as you see my leaves are in abundance here so whenever they're crowded together like that and they don't have the room to be able to get all the airflow all the way through, then they will get that. So I just prune them away and that's the best way to get them away is just to prune the leaves away. But if you can't prune them away, then second best is to spray with some type of um, neem oil or copper fungicide or something like that. But this works. If this works by pruning your leaves, then you don't have to. And uh, no, the powdery mildew will not kill the plant, um, Broke Farmer, if you um, if you get a hold to it before it takes over the plant. So whenever I see the first signs of any um, powdery mildew or any kind of blight or anything, I just jump right on it. I jump right on it and snip away the leaves that are showing the signs of the powdery mildew. And um, then that usually gets rid of it. It doesn't kill the plant. My plants have been producing like crazy. Um, I'll tell you one thing that will kill a cucumber plant though if you um, if you um, let your cucumbers go like all the way to seed without pruning them then um, yeah it'll stop producing the plant the plant will stop producing new cucumbers so whenever I have some that are like um, on the vine if I see let me show you one I don't know if you can see that one See this little one right here? It looks like it's about to turn yellow and it's a brand new little baby cucumber. I just pull it off. I just pull it off so that it doesn't give any signs um, to my plant that, you know, it's on its last leg. I'll go ahead and just pull it off. And then uh, they just keep growing. I have jars and jars of pickles, whole pickles, pickle spears, pickle slices. My next one I'm going to try is the um, bread and butter chips, even though I don't like those, but Spoon likes them, so I'm going to try to make some of those because we have so many cucumbers. Pickling cucumbers, I have the slicing cucumbers, and I'm just going to keep growing them to see which ones that I like the best. <laughs> and so far, Suyu Long is my favorite, but pickling variety, this right here, the plant that I'm in front of right now, this is the National Pickling um, Variety. And I love this variety for pickling. So if you're looking for a good pickling variety, then uh, this is it, in my opinion. I've tried the Boston 
pickling and um, I forgot what the other one was that I tried last year and I got a little bit of germination and a little bit of cucumbers but never like nothing compared to the abundance of cucumbers that I keep getting from this plant and then not only that but they even produce like I call them twinsies because they produce uh, cucumbers that are coming like this they come down in like little pairs and um, sometimes you'll lose one but you'll get the other one so and they there are so many of them like you can't I can't keep up <laughs> so I'm glad I didn't plant more than uh, what I did so I only planted I think let's see one, two, three, four. well I planted eight plants of this because I planted four per row and I did two rows of the pickling cucumbers but this bed here is cucumbers, okra, and um, melons. And uh, spoon is cutting the grass. I hope it isn't too loud. But yeah, this is a bed that has okra, cucumbers, and melons in it. And it is doing amazingly well. I did a little research um, before this season to see things that grow well with um, cucumbers and um, okra because I knew I was going to plant those two to together and it said um, melons like you know the little personal size melons so um, yeah I tried it and um, I'm going to keep doing this this is definitely going to be a staple in my garden I'm going to keep doing this every year because it works together it really works and I like it yeah the other day I came out here um, if you saw my video on the Kajari melons and I was like stalking my first little Kajari melon because I saw it turn orange and I was like yay it turned orange so we we're about to get some rain so I was like okay I'll get it tomorrow I'll get it tomorrow it was sitting there looking all pretty and I was thinking it's the first day it just turned orange so you know one more day won't hurt I came out the next morning guys and my Kajari melon had burst open it was like that juicy it wasn't any critter or any insects or anything like that that got to it. It was just that juicy. It just popped open. I guess the extra um, rain, the water from the rain made it too much and it just popped open. So yeah. Waiting on the next one to turn orange so I can share that with you guys. This is my first year growing those Kajari melons. And um, yeah. And yeah, I got a couple over there, and I got a couple of, uh, what do you call them, uh, cantaloupe and tommy apples over there that I got from uh, Juicing with Jay. Thank you, Juicing with Jay. Um, they're looking lovely. Let me see if I can show you guys those. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, this is a better angle over here. Sorry, guys. okay yeah here we go look at that those are my Tommy apples they looking good auntie mama yep and this is my other um, Kajari melon that I'm waiting to turn orange and as you see I still got cucumbers 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 <laughs> and more and more cucumbers and this is just right after harvest and we still have a lot of cucumbers on this vine but I'm trying to uh, prune 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 because as you see it's still full of flowers I have flowers all over this vine and little baby cucumbers all over the vine so I'm trying to prune and get rid of some of the See down at the bottom now where I'm starting to get some of the yellow leaves? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to get rid of. Because after the rain, it splashes up the dirt on the leaves. And that's what causes that. So I trim that away so that it won't affect any of my other plants. And they can stay healthy. Thank you, thank you, butterfly effects. Yes. I'm sorry. 
gonna try and do some um air layers too on my trees but my tomatoes are still pretty healthy I gotta do some harvesting on my tomatoes Yeah, I hear a spoon over there trying to tell my child how to work. <laughs> you know how kids are these days. They want to do the minimum. This is like his first day coming out here to help in the yard. And he's all like, I did that, I did that. And he hasn't done anything. Yeah, my tomatoes are doing good. I've canned some tomatoes. It's my first time canning, and um, I only did what five jars, four jars the first. Well, like four and a half jars the first time, and um, I'm waiting on the second big, big bundle to come in so I can um, can more tomatoes. This year, I planted more rainbow. I mean, I'm sorry, cherry tomatoes than I did um, the big tomatoes. So. Um, I've just been freezing those, but um, Spoon and some of my other family members, they love to just eat those cherry tomatoes right off the vine, or as soon as I bring them in, I can bring them in by the bowls full, and they just eat them. So um, I've frozen some of those, but for the most part, they've been eating those. Yeah. So Jay, I hope you got a chance to see my Tommy apples. How are they looking to you? I actually planted cantaloupe right next to my Tommy apples. So I planted two plants of the Tommy apples, or three plants, yeah, three plants of the Tommy apples and three um, of the uh, cantaloupes. So I'm not sure like which ones are the cantaloupes and which ones are the Tommy apple, besides the fact that I planted the Tommy apple on the side where they came up at, or where I'm getting the fruit at. So I'm hoping um, that's what that is, so I can taste those for the first time. Either way, I'm happy I'm getting melon, so. <laughs> I'm happy I'm getting melon, so I'm not gonna complain. Happy, happy, we're getting all this rain, so yo, know, he's trying to keep up with that grass, because had the grass cut right before it start raining, and now it's, it looks like we never got the grass cut at all. You missed him, Jay? Yeah, go back and, and watch. If I can go back over there, I'll let you uh, see them again. Yeah, but so far with these um, pests out here, the only thing that I'm having um, trouble with, I was having trouble with the Japanese beetles until I used that, um, what's it, bag, bug in a bag. I did a video um, on that you guys saw and it worked with the Japanese beetles like I barely ever see a Japanese beetle in my yard anymore and there were swarms swarms of them so I'm thankful for that I don't have to fight with those anymore because they were all over my fruit trees um, my plum trees especially like they were drawn to my plum trees for some reason they were eating all the leaves off of my plum trees Got to get ready for bed already. All right, then, Blacks Tropical. Appreciate you coming in. Good night. And I will see you or talk to you tomorrow. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm covering up my neck because these uh, mosquitoes like to bite my neck. And I see them swarming. they like little vampires out here. Hey, Dorsha. Thanks for coming in. That Popeye looked good. Spoon was like, uh, how does she do that? How does she do that? You know how to do that? <laughs> oh, goodness. See? Trying to put me in the kitchen more, Dorsha. <laughs> yeah, that was a good recipe, though, with the uh, 
with the steak. I never thought about using the fajita, the steak for the fajita for um, hot pies. Thanks for that tip. So I try to pop in on everybody's channel that I could think of, watch videos or run a playlist or something. If I haven't gotten around to your channel, I will get there. And I appreciate you guys coming in to mine watch a few videos I'm gonna try to do a few more lives I'm trying to get better at this thing that's why I'm trying to set up this uh, night bot so it can help because I know I'm gonna need all the help that I can get hey Maria Graham thanks for coming in yep okay I think I'm done on this side I'm gonna do a more organized um, live within the coming day as soon as I figure out um, how to do this hey Melissa Jameson glad you're here I'm glad she convinced you to post too because I like your shorts Chico come say hey to Melissa Come here, baby. <laughs> Melissa, I'm trying to get Spoon to let me get a couple more um, chihuahuas, at least one more, where Chico can have some company. Come here, baby. Come here. Come on. Hey, Aunt Tia's backyard. Thanks for being here. Come here, baby. Come here. Come say hey. Come here. He's like, nope, you got them snips in your hand. <laughs> Has anyone ever grown this um this okra that um the motherland okra? Let me see if I can find one in here. I've harvested them already, but um yeah, I har I this is my first year growing this okra and um I like it. I like it for cooking. Especially for like, um, there's one. Lathan. Matter of fact, let me show you. Okay, here it is. This is one of the motherland um, okra. And I like this okra because this is about the size that you harvest them, maybe just a tiny bit bigger. And um, you use them for um, basically for cooking. And I like them um, for cooking because uh, I like to put them in my, my greens and my soups and my stews, gumbo, things of that nature. And when they're this size, like you don't have to even slice them. Like you don't have to, um, I like to throw some of mine in. Um, hey, so good gardener, butterfly fix. But um, I like to just throw them, throw them in like this. And my beans we put some in some uh, butter peas yesterday and some cabbage oh my god they were so good like you and I didn't even have to slice them or you know with, usually when I throw them in whole then the kids be like oh why you put all this okra in here you know but nobody said anything when I put them in this side that's right Jay they're bite size <laughs> so yeah I like these I'm gonna grow these um, from now on they were the um, I think it was called the motherland um, okra and I got it from uh, Baker Creek of course Baker Creek <laughs> so um, yeah if y'all haven't tried these then yeah you need to try these because these are really really good I like these I mean I like okra anyway in general but um, this year I grew the um, Clemson spineless of course um, the jambalaya and the Jing orange and this one the motherland and um yeah uh mike's chaotic gardening i think they do have less slime um usually i do a, a okra water challenge and i'm gonna um do that again this year and i said i said i was gonna try it with this kind this time just so i can see if it has less slime because when i was putting it i put it in my, in my cabbage yesterday there wasn't very much slime so i'm thinking that yeah it does have less slime but i know for sure when I do that okra water challenge because um, that's what that water does it'll just draw out all of the um, 
slime <laughs> out of the okra and where the that's where the benefits are in the seeds and the oak and the um in the slime so um when you put it in water it'll draw it all out so i will know for sure when i um put it in my water um because the glass will be full of slime or less slime depending on how much it has inside of the okra so i will get back to you on that and let you know <laughs> Thank you for reminding me because I'm going to collect a few so I can do my okra water challenge again and I will let you know. So if y'all haven't tried that though, yeah, try it if you like okra, especially um, if you use it for cooking a lot. You eat it straight off the plant. Oh my God. I like okra, but not that much. <laughs> hey, Andy, Genovese, how are my cucumbers? They are amazing. If you haven't, um, I haven't, um, I haven't pulled any off just yet today because I'm pruning my leaves right now. But I harvested so many yesterday. If you saw my um, harvest video, um, and I always have so many um, down in the big garden. This is actually my garden that's um, up by the house, and um, right here I only have my national pickling cucumbers. But all of my big cucumbers, my slicing cucumbers, um, which down at the bottom I have the um, Suyu Long and the um, Armenian Striped Cucumber. Um, I have the Jade Long Cucumber and the rest of them are pretty, are the small ones. The um, Lemon Cucumbers, the Dragon Egg Cucumber and the Dar Cucumber is what I'm growing down there at the bottom. And all of my cucumbers are doing well this year um the lemon cucumber always gives me a little challenge getting started like those leaves turn yellow really really fast like regardless of what you do they're real sensitive um ground um you have to really keep those leaves pruned that are close to the ground and it's like you almost have to grow those on a trellis because they don't like the, the ground at all but once they get started, then, you know, they'll start producing. But they're real slow to get started every year, the lemon cucumbers. But the dragon egg cucumbers, they start producing really, really fast. And um, they, put out, they put out a lot of cucumbers for me. The lemon, they're just now starting to put out a lot of cucumbers for me. And um, uh, what else? the dark cucumbers they're like back and forth they put out a lot of cucumbers in the beginning and then it slowed down and now they're starting to put out a little bit more but those jade long i mean i'm sorry those suyu long cucumbers and the armenian striped cucumbers yeah they're they're really really putting out they're really really putting out i like those two varieties as well for slicing cucumbers um but i'm looking for a variety that has less seeds because I like to um, make kimchi and um, I like to snack on my cucumbers a lot so I want a um, variety that doesn't um, have a lot of seeds if you guys know of any I know that the um, Persian cucumber and the um, what do they call it the English cucumber but I don't know if that's the actual name of them or if that's just a culture of cucumber like if there's a um, cucumber that you know of that has less seeds besides the little mini ones then um, let me know Kirby that's what it is a Kirby cucumber I know that one does so I'm gonna try to grow that one but um if there's any other varieties that you all know of that have less seeds then um, yeah please let me know because um, I love growing cucumbers <laughs> all you guys are talking about chia seeds I have never grown chia Yeah, butterfly effect. I've made the um, I made the um, cucumber kimchi. I know you've probably seen my um, shorts video on that, but um, I haven't made the cabbage kind yet. I'm gonna do that in the fall when I grow my um, my cabbage, which I'm excited about growing this year. Cabbage. I'm gonna see if I can grow a big, big, big head of cabbage. I've grown cabbage, but not the big like flat Dutch cabbage and that's what I want to try to grow this year so
Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. So you like the alpha, I mean the bait alpha. Yeah, I um I grew bait alpha cucumbers last year and I grew them in a five gallon um bucket because or container because I had planted them in the ground at first and then I did some research and it said that um those cucumbers were better off or they were used by farmers or uh, cucumber farmers that you know really grew those in a greenhouse and um, they usually grow them on their own because if they um, are grown next to another variety they will cross pollinate and they will make your other varieties bitter so it wasn't good to grow them in close proximity with um, yeah, they don't like other cucumbers. They like to grow by themselves. So I um, I dug up the ones that I planted in the ground and I replanted some in a container and they did awesome. Last year, that container produced more cucumbers for me than the ones that I had actually planted in the ground, the Bay Alpha. So I like that variety as well. Um, you just have to have the space or have an area to grow it on, on its own because uh, they will cross-pollinate with your other cucumbers. And since I like to grow a lot of cucumbers, <laughs> different varieties, then I didn't, um, yeah, I didn't grow that one in this bed this year. But I like to experiment. So um, I'm, that, I'm that one gardener that if I have never grown anything before, sorry, somebody's trying to call. If I haven't grown something before and it's something that I eat, something that I like, then um, I will experiment with it and, um, you know, try it myself. I hear what I hear, you know, what other people say, but um, I like to know for myself because different areas, depending on where you live and depending on what type of soil you have, um, Something that might might not grow well for others may grow well for you and um, vice versa is what I found out. Like me and my father live um, not even 30 minutes from each other. He lives in Georgia and I live in Alabama, but I'm like right on the border of Georgia. Like seriously, when people say right over the railroad tracks, like seriously, right over the railroad tracks into Alabama I am. So um, he can grow things over there in his soil and then I, over here it's bad for me because I have a lot of um, clay oh yeah we barbecue we grill all the time kettle kitchen um, yeah spoon thinks that he is the real master over here <laughs> and he is he makes the best ribs the best brisket so yeah we we grill over here what's up you got some um, videos or something I need to watch we're actually gonna build him a, um, a bigger uh, barbecue pit over here. Like our um, backyard is in the process of, um, I should say under construction, <laughs> and it has been for a minute here, but um, me and Spoon both ended up having to have surgery um, last year, and, um, and then he had to end up having another one this year. So uh, yeah, kind of put things um, on hold for a little while, but the yard is under construction and um, that's part of the yard. We're gonna build him a huge um, barbecue pit. So stay tuned. But why'd you ask? Why'd you ask that Kettle Kitchen? Okay, what happened? I can't see the chat. Sorry if I'm messing up. I couldn't see the chat anymore. Okay, there it is. Can you guys still hear me or see me? If y'all could still hear me and see me, then um, yeah. Somebody let me know in the chat. Okay, cool. Oh, these mosquitoes are getting bad. So I, today I did a video on harvesting my um, echinacea. 
So that video should be coming out tomorrow. I have it in my dehydrator right now. But I had to go ahead and get that because um, that sun has been drying out my echinacea like crazy. And the birds love echinacea. If you are growing echinacea, watch it because the birds like it just like they like sunflower seeds. If you drop your sunflower seeds and you don't cover them up pretty deep, then yeah, the birds will eat your sunflower seeds and they also like your echinacea. So um, that's one thing that um, I've been able to do um, this year more than I was able to do last year. Last year I planted my um, tea or medicinal garden, but since it was the first year, then of course I didn't get that many um, blooms or things to germinate. But this year, some of the ones that I didn't plant this year, but I planted last year, they came up. So that was good. Echinacea was one of them. Um, I had lavender already on my property, but it actually came up in my um, tea garden where I planted it at um, this year. So I've been able to harvest some echinacea, some um, lavender, plenty, plenty of marigolds, and um, plenty, plenty of um, hibiscus or sorrel. So yeah, that's been interesting because um, that's been something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, grow my own herbs and um, flowers for tea and to be able to um, dehydrate them or dry them out and turn them into tea and um, tinctures. So that's working out now and it's um, exciting that it's actually starting to come to uh, fruition that I'm growing it in my own yard. So, yeah. Last chance cook off and I want you guys to be in it. September, I just sent you an email. Okay, thanks, Kettle Kitchen. That's cool. That sounds interesting. Uh, nasturtiums. Andy. Um, that's one of the things that I was just speaking of when I was talking about um, things that my father can grow and I can't grow. Well, nasturtiums and um, hydrangea so far. I've been trying to grow both of those because I love both of those plants and I was trying to grow nasturtium in my tea garden and actually just as a pollinator and a um, plant you know because it repels bugs really well but it won't grow it will not grow in my garden um, in my big garden or here um, in my um, in my backyard or I have my tea garden like on the side of my house I have this big long um, bed on the side of my house with all of my medicinal um, flowers and stuff in there and wherever I planted at front side back it doesn't matter it just won't grow it'll get about this tall and then they'll start to dry up so I don't know maybe I need to try to grow those in containers or something and that's what I end up having to do with my sunflowers um, if you saw my sunflower video I have my sunflowers in a container because every time I drop them in the ground they don't do well so, you have a separate tea garden. Oh, yes, yes, I have a separate tea garden. Yep. Yep, I have a video on that when I actually got it started, but I haven't done very many videos um, on it because, like I said last year, I didn't get very much germination because it was my first year. But this year, I've gotten some um, echinacea out of it, and lavender, and some... Um, I got echinacea, lavender, um, African daisies, and some, um, what else did I just say? Marigolds. Yeah, but all the other things that I planted in it, like the butterfly pea and the, um, what is it? The nettle. Um, I got my hibiscus out of it, of course. I got too much, too much hibiscus. Um, well, I shouldn't say too much because I was able to dehydrate it and, and um, store it and um, freeze it. So that's what I grew it for. But it was plenty. I ended up dropping too many seeds. That's <laughs> what I did. But now I know. We learn from our mistakes. Right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, thanks for that invite, um, Tony, Kettle Kitchen. Um, 
I will definitely share that with Spoon. He's um, cutting grass right now, trying to keep our yard looking presentable. <laughs> he said he hates to watch my videos when my guard, when my yard isn't looking um, up to par. So. You planted three packs of lavender in a three-foot circle. And is this your first year planting it? Because if it is, um, just wait until next next um, season. It'll probably come up because that's what end up happening with mine. I don't know. Maybe they need to be stratified or something. That's what I was thinking. Maybe you know some of, some packages will tell you on the that you need to stratify your seeds before you plant them, but some of them won't tell you that, and you just have to figure it out or learn the hard way, like I did. Um, I planted my seeds. And nothing came up last year at all <laughs> but this year they came up and they're blooming so I guess they needed to be stratified but it's okay I planted my um, hydrangeas and um, I planted three bare root and three that were already um, they weren't blooming but they had you know the nice pretty leaves on them already and I planted um, three of each and the leaves were nice on there and they looked like they were gonna start blooming but then nothing <laughs> so I don't know what the deal is with those I don't know if they have to get used to the ground or what like I fertilized them I made sure that the acidity level was right because I know that they're a acidity loving plant and you know I add the coffee to them but nothing they haven't died or anything but they haven't grown either so I'm thinking that maybe they're the same way maybe next year they'll be pretty but this year they're struggling so yep so yeah I can let you see my um, cucumbers again if you miss that we were just on the island of Sao Miguel last week and hydrangea and nasturtium were the best growers there. I bet, I bet. Yeah, I think next spring they'll be fine. Next spring they're probably gonna be all over the place. Butterfly effects, did you just plant yours this year too? Even 70 degree temp. That's like perfect to me. <laughs> 70 degrees year round, that would be great. I think that's the perfect temperature for me all the time. 70, 75, <laughs> that would be great. Yeah, this morning when I came out, it was 74 and it was beautiful. Just perfect. So I'm gonna walk down to my big garden. And maybe you guys can see my big cucumber. My pepper garden is doing amazing. I hope I don't lose Wi-Fi or anything. If I do, then look at these peppers, guys. Okay, so this is my pepper garden. And... These are my Plublanos. Beautiful, they're starting to blush. Hey Gail at night. Oh, I have to thank Jay. Yes, and the Serranos are in freaking abundance. And we are like harvest these things every other day and they just keep growing. Look at that. They're everywhere. And these are shishitos. And these are the little lunchbox ones. I just picked the orange ones, but these have not turned all the way yet. I 
got some purple basil in there. These are more shishitos. These are the yellow bell peppers. And the Lasia peppers. They're starting to turn red finally. Yeah, some of those, some of the um, serrano plants are uh, upside down. I, I like those. Those are the chili serranos, um, and these are the cayenne. Plenty, plenty of those. Got the banana peppers. I like for my banana peppers to get real fat before I harvest them. <laughs> Look at that squash. Up, oh, you better fly. Squash bugs. And the jalapenos. Yeah, these are the regular jalapenos. I think I have a, a culapeno plant up in there somewhere. And then these are the cow horn. These are my husband's favorite, the cow horn. So, yeah gonna go down and look you guys he put in two more beds <laughs> I came out the other day and he put in two more beds um, butterfly effects yes I am going to dehydrate some of these um, peppers to um, make powder um, I made so much of it last year and gave it away and everybody loved it so um, yeah I'm gonna be making more of that Marasaha Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, they are hot. Um, Spoon says they're hot anyway. <laughs> I just make pepper sauce with them, but uh, he says that they're hot. The first ones that we picked off the vine, he said were not hot, but these are hot. They are good and hot now. Okay, Tricell. <laughs> Welcome in, cuz. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it. This is my ice cream banana tree that I just put in the ground and it's doing amazing. But you guys know that I have um, a banana tree that actually has some bananas on it. Let me see if I can show that. Let me walk over there. This is my area that we just had cleared out that I'm going to be planting more trees. Let me know if I start to lose signal or if I start buffering. But let me go, let me show you my cucumbers over here. Don't mind these boxes. We're gonna burn those tonight. But look at these cucumbers. <laughs> they just grow all over the place. These are the ones that are climbing over the fence. My beans. My sunflowers. my greenhouse okay some more trees and here's okay can you guys hear me okay I'm back okay I'm gonna connect the Wi-Fi again Are you guys still there? Are you still there? Somebody let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, I guess I better walk back this way.
Okay, I'm gonna try one more time. Show you guys the bananas. Okay, this is, but this is the banana flower. And the little baby bananas behind it. And I'm in Alabama. Somebody asked what state I'm in. I'm in Alabama. Growing bananas. Yes, yes, bananas. So, okay. Gonna go back up. Chico wants to say hi, you guys. Say hey, Chico. Say hey, baby. Say hey. Say hey to Melissa. Say hey. <laughs> it's my baby. Okay, guys. Thanks for coming in. I know Miss Linda is about to start her live. Um, and yeah. I appreciate you guys hanging out. I was just trying to test my night bot here, Spoon. Say, hey, Spoon. Everybody's asking about you. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Cutting grass. I'm tired. <laughs> I got heels. <laughs> and I'm over the heels. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So thank you guys for coming in. I'm going to go watch Miss Linda's live and um, shell some peas. Now you guys make sure you come back when I have this uh <laughs> my renaissance grandma said hey spoon he said hey um y'all come back when I get this night bot working um correctly I'm gonna go in and do a little bit more research on it and um hopefully I get it right the next time <laughs> but y'all make sure y'all come in so you can help me out all right <laughs> I sure appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, my Renaissance grandma. I'm going to make you a moderator on here if I can. So you can help me out as well with uh, some of these chats. And um, thank you guys again. I'll catch you guys around. See you in these YouTube streets. <laughs>